Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars UCS TIE Interceptor. This set which retails for £200 or $230 and contains 1,931 pieces. I've been looking forward to this set ever since it has been rumoured way back in summer of 2023. So it's good to finally have it in my hands and able to build it and review it. I think this is only the second UCS TIE Interceptor a LEGO ever done. I think the previous one was way back, I think 2000, 2001, one of the very first UCS sets of all I think. So this should be a lot of fun. It did look pretty spectacular when I saw it in the Lego store. It is very big. It should go really well with my UCS X-Wing. This is in fact only my third UCS set I've ever actually built. Uh, I do have a few box but I haven't actually built those yet. I do have the Venator and the Razor Crest but I have not got around to building those yet because simply because they're too big I can't accommodate them. But this I have an easy, I can display this quite easily so this should be good fun to build. So Let's get this done and I'll give you my full, thought, my full thoughts and opinions on this set. So here we have the finished UCS TIE Interceptor and wow is it impressive. It is absolutely huge. Now I did see this on display in the Lego store but you can never quite get a sense of scale when they're in a big, in a big store. I find it's only until you get a set in front of you that you're able to interact with it and get a real, to get a real sense of scale. And it is just, yeah, it's ginormous, really, really huge. I don't know why I expected anything less. The UCS sets are all very large, but to actually have them in front of you, I, I kind of forget how big they actually are. Um, super nicely detailed, and it does look quite fantastic. It really, really is good. And it does certainly live up, live up to the UCS name. Uh, very impressed with it. So let's take a closer look at this, this set in more detail and have a look at the minifigure that's in this set. So let's first take a look at the minifigure that comes in this. It is a TIE fighter, TIE fighter pilot. Really nice looking minifigure, nice detailing all on the minifigure, nice detailing on the flight suit and on the legs, really really good and on the helmet. And we do get some arm printing as well which is not often we see, so that's really nice, quite a nice bit of detail there. Does extend all the way around the back and on the other arm as well, come, come, comes complete with a um, blaster. And you can lift off the helmet to reveal the, uh, the face underneath, not only one face on this one. But a good looking minifigure nonetheless, really cool, really nicely detailed. And uh, we do also get this little uh, mouse droid, nothing spectacular about this, but nice little bonus, so that's pretty decent. So overall, really nice minifigure. Now take a closer look at the TIE Advanced itself, some really nice interesting detailing on this set. Take a look at the plaque. It is more of a uh, reflective finish than the matte finish that was in the UCS X-Wing from last year, so it's a little bit reflective, but that's not too bad, looks fine. There's some rather interesting elements used in this set that did make me laugh. Uh, on here you have these uh, controller controller pad pieces, which is rather surprising. I wasn't, really, wasn't expecting those. A very odd use of uh, Lego pieces there. That really did make me smile. Also it incorporated into the wings, we have these shovels, which is quite funny. That did make me smile seeing those um, being used. Uh, that, not quite sure why, but rather interesting. Uh, let's have a look at a little bit more detailing on the wings. I do like this bit here. It does look really nice, really quite... Yeah, really look quite mechanical. I quite like that. The ring, the wings of you do, um, you can't do flex if you so wish, but I'm not quite sure why you need to flex them. But they can do that if you so wish. Then moving around the back, you can see a little bit more of the engine, which looks fine. Uh, would look pretty good with a light kit, I expect, but there's not much else going on there. But it's nice to see. Then moving up top, we have a nice big printed piece for the um, cockpit, which does open up, so you can open up inside, which is really nice and can take a look at some of the detailing. There's not much in there. There's quite a lot of stickers that have been used. Uh, it's hard to see in there, but you can just make out. There's a little, um, but there is a little seat in there, so you can put, you can put the tie, pie, tie Fighter Pilot in there if you so wish. But yeah, there's a lot of stickers in there. The, all these, all these um, control panels, they are all stickers, unfortunately. But the fact the opening of the cockpit is printed, that's a nice, it's a nice big printed piece. So that is quite cool. And it stayed around the side exactly the same as the other ends. Moving back round to the front, the, the glass canopy on the front of the TIE Fighter is also printed, as should be expected, so that's quite nice. So overall, nicely detailed. So I have to say, I am absolutely thrilled with this set. It really is fantastic. It does look really good next to my UCS X-Wing. I'm very pleased with it. It certainly is. I, feel, I certainly do feel I've got my money's worth. £200, $230 is a lot of money, but I think it's well worth it. It is a really, really nice display piece. I do wish I had the UCS TIE Fighter from seven or eight years ago now. That would have gone really nicely with this, but I missed out on that one, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a shame. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It does look really sleek. It's quite stunning. It really is. Until you have it, when you have it in front of you, able to see it, it is really quite magnificent. 
Now, there's one thing I will have to say, um, when, I was doing, when I was building it, I did enjoy the build all, all that much, I have to be honest. Um, basically, you're repeating a lot of the same steps over and over again, like with the, with the wings uh, and with the body, you're essentially doing the same things over and over again. I did find in parts of the build where I had to sort of make myself finish it, I'm not quite sure why. A lot of LEGO sets do have repetitive um, builds, but this one in particular just seemed very repetitive. Um, but it's, it's only a minor thing, but I just have to, I just, I have to be honest about that. That's what I found. I mean, it, it, I mean, it was an enjoyable experience. Don't get me wrong. I, I enjoyed putting it together, but it just, it was in places quite repetitive, especially with the with the wings. But it's a Tie Fighter. That's what has to be expected. That's no different from any, any other Tie Fighter, really. But yeah, apart from that, it is. I really enjoyed it, it's, and, and the finished model really is all, all, all worthwhile. It makes it really worthwhile. So it's quite fantastic, and I do highly recommend this set. Um, yeah, really, really cool. So let me know in the comments is a set that you've got yet or is it on your Lego wish list? Can I please ask leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'm very grateful if you consider subscribing today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.